people in Israel only have 15 seconds from the time a rocket alert is sounded to get into safety. And that's why bomb shelters can make the difference between life and death. It's a reality that Israelis live with day to day, but one the world has been watching in real time since Saturday's horrific attack. Uh, most of the people have been evacuated, but the soldiers uh, many times are using these. And we've seen uh, people during an interview that we've had over there in, in one of the shelters or going into one when a, when a siren goes off. Protection on the inside, wrapped with love on the outside. Previously just drab concrete structures, the organization Jewish National Fund USA started the Bomb Shelter Beautification Project three years ago. They have commissioned an artist living in the Gaza envelope to paint scenes specific to a donor's request in the United States. The Bomb Shelter Beautification Project allows donors, partners from around the entire country to personalize their bomb shelters so that they can offer a piece of themselves to the people of Israel. Diane Scar is the National Campaign Director of Jewish National Fund USA. She and her husband donated this scene of their dog painted on a shelter on an Israeli playground. So she's kind of always there and overlooking and um, it's, it's beautiful to see and uh, very comforting. The Klein family donated this scene of a produce stand. Owners of the local ShopRite stores, they wanted to help children feel less afraid. We wanted to show the people in Israel that Jews around the world are with them, no matter where they are, no matter what they need, that we're all in this together. It's just hard to imagine living in the United States, um, having that threat constantly looming over you, I think. Um, but in the last week, of course, it's become so concrete. And now the organization is on a mission to raise $10 million with 100% of the money helping with immediate needs for Israelis. Food, shelter, clothing, etc., toiletries. To find out more on how you can donate a scene or help with fundraising, just log on to our website. In Baltimore, Jen Franciotti, WBAL-TV 11 News.